Um, next up, we got Wonder Woman 600. Um, celebrating everything Wonder Woman is. It's got a great introduction by Linda Carter. A bunch of small stories set up by uh, different artists and writers working mm -hmm. together. What did you guys think? I loved it all. My favorite one was like the second story. It was done by the... Amanda Connor wrote and, and uh, drew. Power Girl. Yeah. And um, I don't know, the, the pin-up art was another thing that was like great about this issue. It's like a lot of like different artists, like the one from the, who did the Gotham, Gotham Sirens? Gotham City Sirens, the artist for that was working on one of the pinups. Really cool. I, my favorite was probably the, the Ivan Reese one. It was pretty cool. A lot of cool stuff like that. Um, I like the first two stories. There was the first one written by, um, it was drawn by George Perez. Um, not sure who wrote it, but it was a good writer. Ken? Okay, good job on that one. Um... <laughs> Of course, the Manic Connors is an amazing artist, and she actually does a lot of has a lot of fun with this one too. And you can see where she might even bring some of the rain styles from her husband over. Um, I liked it. One of the few things that was throwing me off again, it's too much geekdom in me that I'm just like, that's supposed to be Kathy Kane. She shouldn't be talking like that. That's just my own geekdom. Yeah, I just like saw rubbing that. off. But uh, otherwise, a lot of fun, and it's like I said, it feels like it feels like one of the Power Girl books though too, because I mean, it's that that kind of lighthearted fun. It's still kicking butt, so it's got a good story to it. <laughs> If anything though, like the stories, like the first two that you read are more like a, more like the meanings, like the meaning and the, like not necessarily the metaphor, but like the, the style relevance. of like yeah, the relevance of Wonder Woman as a character. And the other ones were more like action stories, if you will. Yeah, especially I, the last was, one. It I was, thought the stories were hit and miss. The first two were probably my favorite. I really didn't care for the middle couple. They were too short I, to really I care for. I didn't it mind for them. Me. I like them. The last one is the one written by James Straczynski who will be continuing on Wonder Woman with the new revamp and everything and a new costume design as well, as I'm sure many of you know. Um, <laughs> Kristen clearly is uh, in the right sense of mind, I guess, for this. You know, women's rights and everything. Doesn't matter. She's in skin tight uniform. I'm good. <laughs> Kristen's big in it. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's even got, you know, Ken pointed this out. The gauntlets have a W imprint on it. So when she makes, she beats up her guys, you know who did it. Yeah, when you get the little backhand like that. Oh, no. You leave a big W on your head. Oh, who beat you up? It was Wonder Woman. You can't lie about it now. You know, it's just sad. It's so sad. Um, it, she looked like a greaser to me. She's got a little leather jacket. She's got, you I, know, like revamped up. I mean, it. Clothed it looks her a modern. Bit more. Like they gave her like pant, like actual pants and actual jacket, and it kind of clothed her more. But I thought that was kind of like still sexy or whatnot for Wonder Woman's character. <laughs> I my biggest thing after reading this twice through, um, a couple of times actually, um, the first story felt like it was trying to send a message that Wonder Woman is relevant as she is right now. And then I go and read the last story, and it's pretty much kind of telling me she needs to be revamped. She needs to be made modern. Wait. Wait, what? What do you do? What do you like, mean by that? Like the first story, it was like you know she's relevant. She's she, all the heroes look up to her. All the young women and everything, you know, even as as uh, uh, what, Diana Prince. That's, yeah, that's her name. Diana Prince. Yeah. Um, even as her and even as Wonder Woman, she, pe women look up to her. You know, she stands for women's rights. She's she's a strong uh, female role female role model, role model. and um, you know she does. She's not phased by you know stereotypes or anything. But then you look at the last story, and it felt like. She needs to be remade. She needs a new story. She needs to, you know, forget everything that, you know, you've learned about Warren. Here's a new starting point to go from it. I felt that was, you know, unnecessary for me. I, I thought the story, they contradicted each other in the spirit of Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Even though that all the stories are self-contained, you know, they're all telling their own thing. Yeah. From perspective. That I was just my take on it. I can see that too, like you're saying, but it is because it is the intro to the, to the next, you know, year-long run that he's doing. It does like it. I you. I want to give it a little more time. Like, okay, where's he gonna go with the story? Yeah, I, what's I, he gonna do with it? So, I mean, I, I can definitely see what you're saying there. Just I think you you get to see the full culmination of what he's planning to do with this character. He's a talented he's uh, writer, so yeah. I'll, I'll give him that. Um, but just from the from his short part, I it wasn't one of my favorites. Don Kramer draw, drawing was really good. I liked his art. The W. I mean, you can't get a better W than that. Oh, it was interesting how you you brought that up. I didn't think about that at first, but like. I don't know, the way I looked at it, even though it was kind of like a re-imaging of Wonder Woman, I didn't think of that as much as that. It kind of disheartened because the whole point of this was just, you know, the significance of Wonder Woman. But celebrating who Wonder Woman yeah, is. And this kind of like, kind of ruins it, but not necessarily. I, I thought the, the last story wasn't that bad. It was like, I don't want to say brand new day, you know, but it was just something refreshing for Wonder Woman, like... Refreshing. That's good. <laughs> That's good. You know what's refreshing? Murder. I've heard that too. <laughs> 
Where was that, Mandarin? Yeah, Mandarin. You know, it's so it's so refreshing when. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the Linda Carter forward was really good. I, I think she she really, you know, she was she was the play. She played Wonder Woman in the old show, and she really um, knew what Wonder Woman stood for. I think she embodied it really well. Again, the pinup part was awesome. Adam Hughes was probably a good one. Yeah, too. that's a good one actually. There's um, a lot of good ones in there. It's uh, it's surprising because I, I, there were none in the Superman one, which I thought was like went back to looking because like this one they seemed like really apparent because they had interspersion throughout the issue. So it's like yeah, a little bit of story. Here's a pinup. A little bit of story. Here's a pinup. Kind of like bookmarks. Yeah, they they put them in their spacers maybe for the page layouts they needed to have. I'm not sure why they did that, but like Superman didn't have any of those. And then Batman has a lot which look like just rejected covers, whereas these look more like. They made them for it, but it's like it felt more like filler as opposed with the Batman. It was at the end where it's just like, you know, here we added, we had these left over. Hope you enjoy them. This felt like filler to me, even though they're great artists. A lot of stuff, you know, Manipool did some good ones in there. Ivan yeah. Reese did a good one. And of course, the, the Adam Hughes, but I think that was left over too. I think I saw that in a previous Yeah, it looked year familiar. Like so it's, it, seemed, it seemed out of place. I think I wish, I think it would have yeah. felt better for me if it had been in the end. More like these are just the pinups. Or instead of just interspersed, it felt like filler. Whether that was the intention or not, that's just how it came across to me. So, in all sense of Wonder Woman, um, take what you like from this issue. It's got a lot to offer. I think everyone can uh, like. The, each story has its own audience. I enjoyed the first two. Bristol, mm -hmm. same. I know you love the Amanda Connor story. Yeah. Uh, out of all, I'd have to get a three out of five. It's definitely if you're if you're a Wonder Woman fan, you want to pick it up because you want to see how they're going to start doing the new story this year. As like a price point though, it is five dollars. It's kind of hard it to is. be like I got to drop down how much for it. And it is such a hodgepodge of different things. You're like, okay, well, I like this one, but I don't like this one. Do I spend the money? It's three out of five, like, right in the middle for me. Uh, well, for me, like, I, I never really had, like, a taste for much. Like, I don't know exactly. Still, I'm still trying to establish yeah, listen, my taste. We, we, we don't eat yeah. comics. We read them. But, you know, <laughs> I, I, so, I still liked it all. What are you doing? <laughs> it's mine now. <laughs> no, but overall, I, I enjoyed each story. For what it was, and it, it didn't really. I know the price was pretty high and whatnot, but I still liked it, and I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Buy it, guys. It a lot of them spoke out volumes, and it spoke out volumes in celebration of woman or Wonder Woman. So, <laughs> in celebration but, of woman, the new DC superhero. And woman. I want to add one more thing before I move on to Croche. You know, even though you like George Perez, I'm sorry, I don't like this cover art. That's the only thing I had against it. Maybe that's what it, you're it's a fan of the old five. school. George Perez is awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had your go, man. <laughs> um, I give this a C. Uh, if you got the, the extra money, if, you, if you're interested in Wonder Woman, you just got some extra cash, you want to pick up a comic, this is worth taking a gander at. It's good stuff. There was one cool thing, too, if you look back with uh, some of the previous variant covers, might not have been mentioned on the show too much, The um, with each one, the Superman, the Batman, and the Wonder Woman, all they did a updated version of previous covers. Um, if you if bring up the image here, You'll see the original comic to the Wonder Woman, then they have the Adam Hughes did a version of it updated later on. It's a lot of them have some really cool feels to them, so check those out too if you have the cash. Interesting fact. Uh, and that's all we have this week. Um, we'd love to hear what you guys think of uh, our, our, on our Facebook page, our email, our Twitter. Definitely check out our Comic Tunes and Toys on their page on Facebook. Um, until next time, take care. Laters.